So one of the things that I do in my uh, normal puppy classes, uh, we normally do it in week one, is we set up um, a confidence course. So um, this is really just a random selection of objects um, that we let the dog interact with in their own time and at their own pace. Um, we let them do it uh, by themselves. Um, we don't cajole, we don't encourage, we just let them investigate um, at their own pace. So what I've got here are um, a variety of different kinds of objects, new objects. Nice sun, sticking your face in. Um, so things like um, a crunchy, crinkly uh, plastic tarpaulin, bubble wrap that might make a noise, might pop um, as the dogs walk over it. Um, I've got items that are unstable, so there's a wobble cushion there, which Charlie's just walking over just now. Um, we've got things that might move, like the umbrella has just moved. Um, and, uh, yeah, I know, what happened there? So you can see from watching Charlie here that he's unsure when things move. So the kinds of things that are here that might worry him are the, the yellow poles. Um, I'm aware he's anxious about them uh, because of prior experiences. Charlie um, is wary of sticks and brooms and umbrellas and uh, anything long and sticky he doesn't like. Um, so letting him interact with these things at his own pace, he might get a bit of a fright if these move. Um, I've not deliberately set it up so that they do move, but if they do, if he knocks them, he may get a fright. But just giving him time to um, kind of think about it and go back in and have another little explore is what will give him more confidence in the future around things that worry him. So if you were doing this at home, you don't need dog training kit. Obviously, I've got things like cones and poles and mobile cushions here. It can be anything you've got in the house. So um, crunchy, if you've got packing paper, like a uh, brown paper from a packing box, put that on the ground so that it makes a noise when they walk over it. Um, maybe a soft, squashy cushion for them to walk over. Um, boxes or tubs or buckets, things that they can put their paws in or stick their head in. Um, Things that they can go through, so a big cardboard box that's been opened up to form a kind of tunnel. Um, it's, it's, what this is about is letting your dog experience new... I know, did it move? So we got a little bit of a, a startle there when the cone kind of tipped itself upright. But he's just going back in to investigate. I'm not encouraging or cajoling him. He's doing it all at his own pace. This is entirely his choice. Um, so yeah, um, you want just random household objects, things that your dog can interact with um, in their own pace and at their own, uh, in their own time and at their own pace. Um, so the more that they can do that when they are in these formative weeks, the more when they encounter new objects in the world, they are more accepting of them and tolerant of them and not so hesitant. So Charlie is very hesitant about new things um, because he didn't um, have the benefit of the things that you're learning for your pups. Charlie, um, just to give you a bit of background about him, he started out... Um... <laughs> what happened? I know. So the tail's wagging, so he's still happy. Um, he started out life in the streets in Romania, um, which, uh, and, and wasn't well treated. Um, and as a result, he can be quite anxious and nervous about new things, although he's much, much better than he used to be. Um, and just as an aside, it's not, um, it, what are you doing? Finding stuff, good boy. Um, yeah, so that's Charlie's background. Um, so he is more wary of new things. But if you do this kind of thing with your puppies now at this, the stage of development they're currently at, this is what helps create a robust, confident dog that can uh, approach new objects and new situations um, with uh, confidence and 
without undue hesitancy. Um, and if they do get afraid, if something does startle them or um, frighten them, they generally bounce back much more quickly. They're much more resilient, uh, robust dogs um, if you can do things like this with them. So look around your house, look around your garden, um, see what you can find that they can interact with things they haven't seen before. And what you're really looking for are things of different textures, things of different heights, things that move, things that are unstable, um, things that they can stick their head in, things that they can move through. Um, and you want to be doing it, as I say, at their pace um, and allow them to do it in their own time. I like to do this completely off lead, no collars, no leads, no harnesses, so that they're completely free to move. Um, as, as they want to. So I think Charlie is done with this now. But yeah, set up a little confidence course for your puppy. Um, any kind of random objects. One thing to bear in mind is, are they happy to do it? If they are hesitant, if they are backing off, if they don't like it, that is their choice and we leave them. Uh, we let them leave if that's what they want to do. Um, the more we respect their choices the more we accept a no so charlie has now jumped up onto the footstool haven't you what you doing pal um the more we respect a no um, and let them say no then the more likely we are to get a yes eventually because they learn that they are being listened to and that if they don't like something we're not going to force them to do it and that in turn gives them the courage to um to try so um confidence course and um, set one up for your pup in your house or garden and if you want to video it and share it with me um, and upload it to the group that would be fantastic.